What is going on everyone? Leon checking in and we're at it again with more content. And today we're here to talk more about the Lenovo Legion Go and how to play your favorite Android games on this device or another Windows PC using Bluestacks. So how cool is this? You can use the Legion Go to play Android games and you can use the built-in controls on the Legion Go or simply just the touchscreen for those touchscreen Android games. So what are the benefits here? Well, of course, the Legion Go paired with its AMD Z1 Extreme is great for playing those top titles that you would expect on a PC. But when it comes to Android games, the Legion Go also does them very well. And these Android games are generally less demanding than the PC games you have probably come to play on devices like this. So ideally, they should require less battery, less performance, maybe meaning that you don't need to have that fan running all the time. You don't have to have the Legion Go in high performance mode. And hopefully the battery would last longer with these simpler titles. But there is one con here. It seems for this application, you will need to be connected to a Wi-Fi connection. But let's talk more about Bluestacks. So all things said, let's go ahead and get into it. So let's talk install of the Bluestacks application. And we are on the website right now, bluestacks.com, but I'll include the website link in the description down below as well. Now, once on the webpage, we're going to look for download Bluestacks 10 and tap on the tile. And then you'll save this to wherever is most convenient for you. And then you can click on the download. Now I've already installed Bluestacks on the Legion Go, so I'm not going to go through this process, but simply follow the instructions and that'll get you to the next step. So once Bluestacks is installed, we can boot it up. I wanted to show the load time here for the application. You can see that it's fairly quick. And another thing I like to point out is that this application, it looks like an app store. It, it's pretty much consistent with the appearance of all app stores. Now, in order to install our Android games on the Legion Go, we want to look for the Google Play Store tile and tap on it. And if you're doing this for the first time, Bluestacks may push an install request to install their Bluestacks app player so that you can actually play the Android games on the Legion Go or your Windows PC. On top of this, you'll also sign into your Google account. This way you can continue games from your Android device to the Legion Go or the PC that you're playing on. So once all these steps are completed, we can actually look for and install games. We're going to test this out. I am going to do a search for Genshin Impact. Hopefully I said that right. And as you can see, I have the keyboard customized on the Legion Go. I have this Arasaka wallpaper and I am using the Windows keyboard. So here we are, Genshin Impact. I am going to tap on that. And then we're going to install on App Player. It's the blue tile here. And you can see this opens another page. Now this is actually opening the Bluestacks app player. And what's interesting, if you're watching the video, I have other games installed here. So I do have Devil May Cry from the Google Play Store. That's a recent release. And we get pop-up notifications on those apps as well. So it simply works like your Android phone. You get these notifications that you can close out. And you may have also seen another pop-up in the center of the display, which I did close out here. And it was just letting us know that a gamepad was detected. So the gamepad or the built-in controls for the Legion Go, they're automatically detected, which is really nice here. But anyways, let's go ahead and install Genshin Impact. You can see that the new page that has opened, it looks just like the Google Play Store and we'll tap on the install icon. And while that's going, I'm going to minimize this page. I will say when it comes to this application, the things that you tap on, they're kind of small, so it may be easier to use the actual mouse pad on the Legion Go if you are finding that you're accidentally tapping on things you don't mean to when using your finger. But I want to show you my library of Android games that we do have installed already. So we're going to click on the heart icon on the sidebar there, and here are all the applications, all the games, the Android games that I have installed on this device. And my list is growing pretty extensive here. Also, I wanna note, it looks like Genshin Impact already did install on the Legion Go. We have a shortcut here, 
right on our desktop, which we could delete. I like a clean desktop, but if you like shortcuts, you can have shortcuts as well, also a plus. But anyways, I wanna return back to my game library. Overall, most of these games work very well with a few exceptions. Now, some games aren't compatible with some devices. You may have seen this notification on the Play Store, depending on different devices you've used in the past, such as Chromebooks, tablets, or Android phones. Then there are mapping issues. So some of these games don't map all that well. For example, there is Dead Trigger 2, and I don't have it in my library currently. I really love that game. It's a zombie shooter, but for the moment, I couldn't get the mapping to work very well here. So I had to remove that game. And then there are other issues like Freezen. So if we scroll down here, you can see that I have Implosion, Never Lose Hope. This is a very good game based in the future. And it does seem to work with controls, but it seems to freeze when you use controls. It seems to work better when you're using the touch screen. I'm not sure why that happens, but just something I noticed. So that being said, you're going to have to experiment with these games still, see what works and what doesn't, and just go along with it. This is somewhat of an experiment. But I will say for the games that do work well on the Legion Go, this is impressive because we get to obviously continue our games from our Android device to the Legion Go or again to another Windows PC. And we have the larger display, which is great for seeing the games or playing the games by touch because the Legion Go does have a really nice touch screen. And there are just some Android games that work really good with controls. So the ones that do work with the Legion Go's controls they work really well. And then there is the other benefit. Using these games on the Legion Go or the Windows PC that you choose allows you to disconnect from your smartphone. I think that's great because I get to get away from all those notifications and have a much more isolated gaming experience. And sometimes we just wanna play more simple games, which is what the Android games offer versus over those latest AAA titles. Nothing wrong with them, but sometimes a much more simple gaming experience is needed. So that is it for today's content. As always, thanks for watching and may the universe flow in your favor. And until next time, Leon checking out.